Okay, everyone. So now we are creating the custom control or user defined control. So first of all, we are going on the file, the new project. We know that we work with the Windows form application, but here we are doing in two steps. Number one, creating the control. Second one, we are using that control in our program. So for creating the control, we are going on the Windows. Then here we are going down and here we are having Windows form control library. So this is the Windows form control library. Now here I can provide some name. Let's say the name of control is my own name. So I'm saying Ankit control. So this is one control I am defining, which is customized control. Now press OK. Now afterward we can see that this is the user control 1.vb. So here there is some area where we can define the control. We can create our own control or we can customize the already present control. So here I want to customize this button as per my own wish. So I am just dragging and dropping. Now this button one name I want to provide my own name. So here I am giving Ankit. So the name of button is Ankit now. I'm extending its size. And afterward I want that whenever somebody take this control, then there should be some kind of color. So I'm going on the properties and from the properties, I am setting the color. So here I am taking the back color. Now back color, I am choosing custom color. Let us suppose that the color I am taking is light blue. So this is the color I have opted. Now I want that if somebody dragged and dropped this button, so there should be some kind of message. So I'm double clicking on that. So here we are having the coding of this button. Now here I want that there should be a message. So I am writing message box. In the bracket I am saying this is customized control. So this is customized control which I have mentioned. So now we are going back and we can see that we have defined one button successfully whose code we have done. If we are running this code, then we can see that here it is not like the normal program. Whenever we run the program, it is not like the normal that we are having some kind of output window, but it is showing that one control is added, which is Ankit underscore control. So here we can see that it, these are the specifications of that control. So we are putting close. Now we are going to save this. So we are going on the file, then we are going on save all. So let us suppose that I want to save into the D drive. So here I'm going to browse, then in the D drive I'm selecting. Now I'm creating one new folder that this is the custom control. Now after I'm pressing enter, so this is the custom control path I have selected, then select folder. D drive custom control, my control is saved, then save it. So our first task is over that we have created the custom control. Now afterward, I want that this control should be the part of toolbox. So I'm going on a new project. So I'm going on file, new project. I'm starting a new project as we do. So here I'm selecting the Windows form application. And here I'm saying that import custom control. So this is the name, import custom control. This is the name of program. Now press OK. Here we can see that we are having the import custom control. This is the program. And now let us suppose that the name I want to give here is Ankit Verma. So I am providing here Ankit Verma. This is the name of form. Now afterward, I am extending its size. So here I am, let's say, putting a label. So we are dragging and dropping a label that this is custom control. So here, custom control. This is the name of program we have mentioned. Now afterward, what we are going to do, we want that that control should be the part of this toolbox. So I'm right click on the toolbox. Now click on choose item. So here we are having .NET Framework components. So these are the components which are already the part. It can take certain time to open. Now afterward, we are clicking on browse because we want to add our own components. So click on browse. Where it is, we know that that is the part of D drive. 
in the D drive we are having custom control, Ankit control. So this is the name of that project we have already created. So go inside. Now afterward go in the bin, then go into the debug. So here you can see that Ankit control dot DLL. So this is the DLL dynamic link library file which is available. So click on open. So here you can see that successfully there is one control user control one is added to the .NET framework components. Now click on OK. So now we are scrolling down in the toolbox and you can see that here we are having the user control one. So here this user control one is added. Now this control I can simply drag and drop in my program. So I am going to drag and drop this user control. And you can see that this is as it is same control which we have created. Same color and there is a code behind that. So we have not done any coding. The coding is already done when we have created the control. So now I'm going to run this project. So here you can see that we are running the project. Now click on the Sankit. So here you can see that customized control. So here we have made the program of customized control in two parts. Number one, we have created the control, saved the project. Then afterward, number two, we have imported that control into the program and we have used it. So this is how we can work with the custom controls.